So where do you see yourself in five years? Uh, pardon? What do you see yourself doing? Uh, whatever I can, I guess. What's that mean? Um, whatever job I get and, you know, keep. Yeah, I'll be doing that, I mean, unless I'm doing something else. Something else instead of? Well, whatever job I get now. Okay, but nothing specific? Uh, pardon? It's just that the question, where do you see yourself in five years, is really meant to elicit from you whatever plan or even dream you might have for yourself. Oh, you, you, mean, you mean like what would be my favorite thing to do? Yes. Well, some of the guys from my unit thought that I would be really good at writing those uh, funny things on cards. I'm sorry? You know, um... Birthday cards and uh, cards for anniversaries. Greeting cards. Yeah, yeah. There's like a, a kind of sincere thing on the front, and then on the inside, there's something kind of sarcastic that just kind of changes the whole meaning. Oh, the thing on the front, you mean? Yeah. Yeah, my guys thought that I'd be good at that because I'd always kind of do that naturally. Like, I would be a little sarcastic just to keep it real, you know? <laughs> What was your job in the Army? Uh, I was a tank driver, and then I qualified for marksmanship training. And that meant? If I passed, I would be a sniper. Did you pass the course? Yes, sir. So you were a sniper? Yes, sir. You killed people from a distance? Whenever I could, yes. These would be Taliban leaders? Yes, and some of their own snipers. Personally, I felt it was a priority to kill their snipers. Why was that? Because they're trying to kill me. Right. Yeah, like, not just me, like, my buddies, too. Okay, okay. And now that you're out of the military, you'd like to write jokes on greeting cards. If I could, yeah. But, but I mean, that was just, like, an answer to your question about, like, my dream, right? But... I'll take anything, man. Like, I've been looking for work for a while now, and... No luck at all? No. No, sir. None at all. How are your parents doing, by the way? They're okay. It, what does my parents have to do with me getting a job? We're members of the same church. But I haven't seen them in a service in a while. I was just... Uh, my dad's kind of losing it. <sighs> He keeps forgetting things and stuff. Sorry to hear that. Has he been diagnosed? With what? With uh, whatever's wrong with him. I don't know. I mean, I'm just saying that's probably why you haven't seen him a lot lately. Like, my mom's kind of embarrassed by the stuff that he says and does, so they like to really just keep themselves. I don't remember you ever attending services, Dean. Did you ever accompany your parents? Uh, Went at Christmas a few times. Your parents were regulars. Yeah, they're pretty religious. Well, my mom is at least. But you're not. <sighs> no, sir. <laughs> Definitely not. Well, send them my best, okay? Sure. So you can help me, right? With your father? What? No, with getting a job. Oh. Well, then that might take some... Uh, why did you wait this long to come to see us? You've been back uh, quite a while now, right? Five months. Didn't you know the government offered this service? Yeah, but people kept saying there's nothing you could do for me. What people? People you couldn't help, other soldiers. Well, it's a bad situation out there, isn't it? You mean job-wise? Yes. We Right, but it's not like I can give up. I mean, we're going to have a baby. We? My wife and me. Your wife? It says here you're divorced. I am, but we're going to get married again in like a week or two. Because she's pregnant. Well, yeah, mm. and because, you know, I made it back in one piece, you know, and, and she didn't expect that. You, you know, she divorced me because she didn't want to be an army widow. She 
said that like it was bad enough I was going to be dead, but she didn't want to listen to how the nation was so grateful, even though like they're not, you know. She thought that was a bunch of bullshit. So she divorced you, so she... So she didn't have to listen to a bunch of fucking lies. Pardon my French. I mean, pardon her French. It's a lovely language, French. I occasionally speak it myself. Yeah? Huh. Well, anyway, you know, she said she was going to do it if I re-enlisted, and I thought she was just saying that, and then there I was in my bunk after hiding behind a rock for three days waiting for someone to kill, and I get a letter from her, and I open it, and the first thing it says is, I got a lawyer, you're getting, a paper, you're getting papers in two weeks, and in the meantime, go fuck yourself. It must have been rough for you. I figured it was just her way of making sure that I took whatever she was going to say seriously. Okay. And now here you are. Yeah. Do you mean like, here I am, like, here, or do you mean, here I am in this situation with a baby? Both. Well, yeah, but like, if I could just get some employment, I feel like things could just turn around. I'm sure they would. So what now, man? I'll, I'll pass your file on to one of your agents and they'll start looking for you. That's it? Yeah. <sighs> okay, will you just tell them that, like, I'll take anything. I'll, I don't, I'll start at the bottom of the ladder. I don't care what I have to do. I'll, I'll try my hand at anything. That's good. I'm a fast learner. I guess also you could tell them about my kills. Your what? My kills. Uh, officially, I had 18 high-level kills and plus nine or maybe ten other snipers. I mean, that's just if they're wondering if I'm, like, efficient. Efficient. Yeah, like, I'm good at what I put my mind to. What would you do? I mean, like, where do you see yourself in five years? Like, do you think you're still going to be a job counselor, or are you going to be out somewhere, like, following your dream or something? I don't know. It's a good question, man. I'm really glad you asked. <laughs>